Hi guys, I'm Travis Taylor from Capital City Nissan, also known as the Salsa Robot, here in Topeka, Kansas today. I wanted to show you guys a vehicle we've gotten in here. This is the new uh, 2022 Nissan Frontier in tactical green. So here's the truck here. Nissan did a body change in 2022. I think they did a good job. It uh, definitely looks a little more modern than the old body style Frontier. They came out with some newer colors this year. This is the tactical green. It's a kind of cool color. It's something different. I'm going to open the hood here. If I can get it with one hand. It's hard to do. Sorry for the uh, camera angles there. I'm a one-man show. Under the hood, anymore, all you do is you open the hood. It looks, seems like to look at plastic covers and whatnot. They kept things easy, though, to refill like your washer fluid and you can check your brake fluid over there. I believe this here is probably power steering fluid. Uh, there's where you antifreeze overflow. What they did is a, they went to a 3.8 liter V6 in these. They used to use a 4 liter V6. Uh, now they're a 310 horsepower 3.8 liter V6 with a 9 speed automatic transmission. And there's your specs there, 281 foot-pounds of torque. Shift on the fly, four-wheel drive. This is your SV crew cab with the technology package and the SV convenience package. Premium paint charges and whatnot. Around this side, I was going to show you back here. I've already put the back seat up. I'll show you the front seat here, too from the passenger side. I've always enjoyed the interior space in these Frontiers for a small truck. I think they've got pretty darn good interior space. In the back here, your back seat will flip up. There's some storage underneath. Here's a box here with uh, tie down cleats for the bed. I'll show you that in a second. I can close that up. Let's see if I can one hand it. There, put the seat back down. Uh, as you'll see back here on the back of the console, it's got some charging ports. Got a, a plug in there. The, this does fold down, of course. I mean, you've probably seen this in all kinds of vehicles. You got an armrest there, cup holders, sliding rear window. I'll come back this way. This has got a a nice factory installed like rhino liner bed it's a uh, down here these are kind of cool that they they put these in trucks now you know I, that's pretty convenient being able to plug in right there if you got to operate a saw or something on the tailgate uh, of course you've got a, a tie down here in the corner of the bed and then up here this is one of those tie down cleats that was in like the box there in the back seat. You can loosen this up and this will slide. You can put these around on the Utilitrack system around the bed, wherever you'd like to place them. The truck comes with four of them. And they also, uh, if you loosen it up enough, you can pop these out of here and take them out so no one steals them. It's just a, one of those cool features. I like these. They can be pretty handy. Of course, Nissan's got a real easy to open and close tailgate. It's got like the like a spring assist on it, so it's easy to open and close. Of course, back here above the Nissan emblem, you'll see it's got backup camera. You got the two options for trailer light controls. And then, of course, a nice receiver hitch. Go around over here. I'm going to get inside the truck. I'm going to turn it on because of Kansas heat. It's, all, it's about 10 o'clock in the morning. It's already like 80 degrees out. I'm going to flip this camera here. I don't know. Maybe not. Uh, these newer ones... 
of course we've got a little bit bigger screen than usual you can do am fm uh, of course you can get sirius xm if you like uh, you can stream bluetooth we have apple carplay android auto um, Gosh, let me back this up. I was going to show you the backup camera. Nice big display for the backup camera now. Uh, down here, you have your AC controls are real simple. I'm a sucker for knobs and buttons. I guess I'm old school. Real easy to control. And then down lower here for winter time, you get them heated seats, heated steering wheel, your uh, parking sensors. I, I I always wondered why they had these in trucks, but now that I hook onto a a trailer with these trucks, I can tell you it's nice to have that to turn that off, so it's not just beeping at you when you have the trailer on. Uh, up front here, you have some more uh, chargers or uh, USB ports. Of course, these are shift on the fly. Um, I believe you can shift in the four-wheel drive high up to like 60 miles an hour. Don't quote me on that, but I think it's up to 60. I always like to kind of slow down a little bit and shift into four-wheel drive, but to each their own. Um, looking up here, they do have the sunglass holder or glasses holder. I like that. A real simple control for your dome lights here. Uh, of course, on these, you do get the adjustable up and down for the seat belt. You got a no-shit handle over there. You got one there. You got one over there. So you can drive like a freaking maniac in these. There's one back there for the passengers. Of course, right here, you've got your cruise control. You've got your intelligent cruise control. That's a good safety feature in these newer vehicles. Over here, you've got your display settings here in the middle. This uh, button here, scrolling up and down. Um, we'll adjust this to different screens in the middle. Um, oh, I'm sorry, I'm hitting the wrong button. I'm sorry, I told you wrong. It's this right here, these arrow buttons. They will control these screens. There's your off-road gauges to tell where the power's going to what vehicles, uh, your steering angles and roll angles, um, auxiliary gauges. You've got the st uh, statistics there for your driving, fuel economy. Don't let that fuel you. Th these do get a little better mileage than that. This truck's just mainly been test-driven and driven around the lot. So it is hard to calculate accurate gas mileage until you really drive a vehicle every day. Uh, this will tell you the channel for the, for the radio or sound system. And then you can set your driving aids here. Uh, tire pressure monitoring. And there's all your different drive assist screens. You can kind of customize all this up here. Uh, there's your Bluetooth for your phone and volume control for the, the radio. Going down in here, you've got your your switch here for the round sensors this here is turn that plug in on and off your downward hill assist is right there cargo lamp in the bed and then traction control now over here is pretty simple your your power windows locks power mirrors overall really nice trucks i really enjoy the new design you got plenty of cup holders water bottle hol holders in here you've got uh, deep console with a 12 volt plug in in there. I believe these hold pins or something. But uh, this has been the 2022 Nissan Frontier SV. Uh, got it here at Capital City Nissan in Topeka, Kansas. Uh, once again, I'm Travis Taylor, uh, also known as the Salsa Robot. I thank you guys for tuning in, and I'll try to get you another video tomorrow. Um, Again, uh, if you could, hit the like and hit the subscribe. Help me out. I'm uh, trying to get some views and everything and uh, get the word out there on some of these vehicles. Well, you guys have a good day, okay?